Hello there again my friends, this is the boy and his dog and welcome to the channel where I play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's episode we continue our deeper purchase of the second Evercade home computer cart, the C64 Collection 2, with the 13th game, World Games. Let's get started. World Games is a track and field style sports game for 1 to 8 players alternating, developed by KBY and released for the Commodore 64 in 1986. If you've played any of the previous games in the series, you know exactly what you'll get in, even down to the identical bare bones opening menu. The choices are all the same there's practice, compete in one, some, or all events. Select the amount of players by typing in a name and choosing a country for each one, then press and return to move on to the main game. Thankfully, this is when the game actually feels a bit more interesting than previous endeavours. Unlike Summer and Winter Games, World Games takes events from around the world. For each event, we even get a bit of history about it, which was a nice touch. There are eight events in total, and they are mostly unique for this type of game. We have weightlifting, which isn't too tricky to pick up, pushing down and or up to move through each position, using the visuals as a guide. Next up we have barrel jumping, which is Simple enough too. Choose how many you want to jump, run up to the barrels using left and right on the D-pad in time with your character's movements. It's a bit trickier to get the hang of than you think. Then press B to jump and press down when you're landing. Cliff diving is probably one of the easier and fun events. Choose your height, dive and make sure you're far enough out before you line up for the splash and make sure you move out of the way before your noggin conks the bottom. Now slalom skiing I actually found tricky as hell. Left and right aren't probably as responsive as you first think, especially when you're first speeding up. This one takes a lot of practice, mostly to learn the placement of flags. With log rolling, which I thought was bloody cool, but I never felt I actually got the hang of it. But it's still quite fun trying to keep up as long as possible. Now ball riding, surprisingly I probably found the most fun with. Though I can't say I can stay on a whole 8 minutes, just seeing how long I can last was a right laugh enough. The caper toss, again you need to get the swing of the running with the d-pad by timing with the leg movements and it can take a bit. Also remember it's when you let go of B, not pressing B, that makes you toss off. And finally we have Sumo Wrestling, and it is the easiest event in the game. I won every time by holding B and hammering in the direction with the D-pad, either forward or up. They all seem to work. And that's about it for the game. In single player, apart from practicing events and trying to beat your score, there really isn't any reason to keep returning. Multiplayer on the other hand is a lot of fun as expected. And great, you can choose one controller so it can even pass around the EXP for multiplayer action wherever you are. 
And if you've made it here to the end of the episode, thanks ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or comment if you'd like. Either way, I'm just chuffed your poked your head in to take a gander. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seeing you.